And I'm going to put my chef skills to work. Joining us now in the kitchen with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. Welcome back. Thank you. You Thanks didn't you, kind of, you didn't burn yourself last time. We had the flame no. issue, but we're good to go. I lived with it. Let's see if I burned myself this time. All right, so you're making us three dishes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's with the Dr. Pepper sauce? Uh, actually, the other night, my son, mm -hmm. he's in the Culinary Institute of America up in New York, uh -huh. and he's going to be a chef, and I said, make me something. And so he made me something with Jack Daniels, Dr. Pepper, and I said, I'm going to do that on TV. Really? Yeah. All right, so what's going on at the restaurant? Well, we're open all week. The Outer mm -hmm. Banks is happening on Thanksgiving week. A lot of families like to come down there, mm -hmm. chill out down there. We do a big Thanksgiving buffet on uh, Thursday. Starts okay. at 1030 in the morning, and uh, we're open all day long. I do a lot of traditional okay. and a lot of stuff with twists, just like ah, the Dr. Pepper. Gotcha. All right. So if people are looking for something to do, they don't have it together yet, what they want to do for Thanksgiving, come on down to Red Sky Cafe. Call and us. We'll definitely hook them up. We will hook them up. All right. Sounds good. We're going to get back and put my knife skills to work, too, when we come back in the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the doc yeah, rockfish and the uh, oysters bag. All right, back in the kitchen this morning with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, cooking up a huge seafood feast today. We're going to start with our rockfish with Dr. Pepper sauce and oysters D. What's yes, the D? Well, just, just I just cool named name? it D because F was sounded kind of weird. So <laughs> what, we, uh, what okay. we got is, is oysters D is sort of a Cajun dish. Okay. And a lot of people do fried oysters, which rock and roll. Yeah. But... Some people like to do them a little bit different. Okay. Now, also, I want you to see that scallion perfect. I Just cut am the streaks. going to make them cool as you explain what we're doing. Okay. Yep. Got my mushrooms going. I love how you use all these vegetables in your dishes, too. And the rockfish. Okay. Okay. I've got the rockfish. It's really kind of scallopini. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rockfish is right over here. What is is North Carolina rockfish. Okay. Right now, down on the Outer Banks, there's a lot of good things going on. And if you like to fish like Chris over there, mm -hmm. fish and rock and rolls <laughs> this time of year. So what do we do with the local one? What is that? I, 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 just I don't. My, he, oh I, he just okay. got away. I, am, I apologize. We're going to add to that. <laughs> and throw some more in right there. Okay. This dish should not take very long. I'm now, just, rockfish, for those who haven't had it, is it a pretty mild fish? It's really, it's white, flaky. It's very mild. Okay. Caught right off the surf. You can go out and catch them in the boats. A lot of fun to catch. Okay. Now, the Dr. Pepper is, my son got pretty kind of creative. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take the heads off those? Oh, okay. And um, so, basically, we just took Dr. Pepper. Um, <laughs> were they supposed to fall? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> she needs clear direction over here. Okay. All right. Just the I bare got you. Just the bare like tip. That. Okay. That's okay. I We're going to make it work. You know what? We'll make it work. All right. Continue. <laughs> That's the Alaskan knife skills. Cut it all off. Okay. We got the rockfish. We're browning it on each side. Okay. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of sun dried tomato cherries. Okay. Pretty simple dishes that folks can do at home. Or they can just come down to your restaurant and I call it up for them, right? Compl simple recipes for complicated people. Yeah. Okay, I got Cajun spice, kosher salt, and cracked pepper. Look how our oysters are already plump and oh, firmed wow. up. You know, I had my first oyster mm. uh, raw at the Signature Chefs event that I hosted uh, a couple weeks back in as Virginia much Beach. As you've been traveling around. That's yeah, the first time you know, you got an it was raw. the first time. I know. I got to get more. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of white wine. Okay. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of butter. Our rockfish is just simmering over here. All right. I like the pan a little bit hotter. This is so cool, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, a little bit of Jack Daniels. Takes the edge off Grandma. Yeah. A little bit more. <laughs> this is just a little bit of chicken stock. Okay. Now, what if people out there are like Coke and Pepsi fans? Do you recommend you know what? You can, can do it with that? Coke. You can do it with Pepsi. Oh, okay. If I, uh, a friend of mine told me one time, he said, if you had an original thought in your mind, it would die from loneliness. So basically, <laughs> just take everything that you it's see me done. doing okay. and kind of whip it up. All right. Now, I added the butter, and I'm incorporating it into the sauce. It's okay. going to be kind of sweet. All right. I am going to hit it with a little bit of kosher salt and cracked pepper. Okay. And look at that. It makes a nice, creamy sauce. It's good. In the second Smells half, good. I'm going to do sweet potato hash. Ooh. That's what we're okay. going to serve it on. This is a pasta dish. Didn't you use some of this last time? Well, we yeah. made the comfort food. I did. But last time, what did we do with it last time? We did it. Um, sort of like an Alfredo yeah. style type thing. That's how it is. Just simple to the it's point. Like this Cajun kick seasoning that you just threw you in. It. It's like secret seasoning. I like I it a little spicy. I apologize for these green onions. We can use them in another oh, dish. Oh, right here. Look you at this. You know what? You know hey, what? Perfect. There, there you go. Now I it's going to really have a nice have little. That. <laughs> That's my twist to it. <laughs> So basically, 
Is that finished? That's pretty much done. Okay. And that's going to really taste good. All right. Now this over here, we're going to plate this on our next segment. Okay. And we're going to do the scallops chalupa. Now chalupa, more than normally people would think like Mexican food. And that's basically what it is. It's a southwestern dish. Uh-huh. And uh, basically the chalupa is like, uh, and actually I, we have a lot of Latinos that work mm -hmm. with us up there. We love the people. We get a, I get a lot of recipes from yeah. them and the culture. And, um, and basically I thought it was something like from Taco Bell, you know what I mean? But <laughs> actually what it is, is like it's a Mexican flower girl that sells in the canoe, you know, flowers oh, okay. in Mexican City. Uh -huh. And I've got this little fellow that gives me the insight on some of this All stuff. All right, so we're going to put a twist to it by putting it with scallops. All right, our oyster D and then our rockfish with the Dr. Pepper sauce. I can't wait to taste that because Dr. Pepper is one of my favorites. You got so it, we're going to plate these in the next segment and then get started on our uh, scallops chalupa. Chef Wes, always a pleasure. Thank you. Here we go. All right, we are back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen with Chef Wes Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, cooking up a seafood feast today. We already did our rockfish with Dr. Pepper sauce, oysters D, and now we're working on our scallops chalupa. You got it. All right, Basically, what are we doing? I've, I've already pan sauteed the scallops a okay. little bit, about two minutes, and got them nice and brown, as you can see. I've got a little bit of bacon, a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay. Now, your parents are coming in for the week, right? They are. All right, from Alaska. From Alaska. You need to bring them all about seafood, too. All about seafood. Mm -hmm. You need to bring them down to Duck. I was telling you a little bit about yes. it. Yes. Duck is beautiful, quaint, mm -hmm. little village. You can walk from shop to shop. You can, I mean, you don't have, you can park one place and walk all around. And the town of Duck has got a boardwalk going all the way around it. Okay. Kathy, who's the event coordinator there at the town of Duck, is uh -huh. doing something next weekend. Okay. Which we're going to do a tapas crawl between Blue Point, Roadside, Red Sky Cafe, and okay. Off West, and Sweet Teas, all the restaurants that are in that little area. And we do that in March also with the Taste of the Beach, mm -hmm. but it's a nice little break right before Christmas. Come on down to the beach. Okay. Visit all of us. All right, so you get one-stop shop. One I like stop that. One-stop shop. Just keep walking around. Okay. Okay, so I've got the scallops. i got a little pico de gallo, fresh garlic, bacon. Anything okay. with bacon is good. Uh, yes. Over here I've got... <laughs> sweet potatoes which are basically just cubed and been roasted okay, okay. so it's some way to get rid of some uh, Thanksgiving leftovers yeah now one big That's thing idea. about me is as always I always tell you the mm -hmm. first bites taken with your eyes mm -hmm. so you're getting ready about presentation Who's for you this year your dad? Uh, my dad can burn some pots but I'm gonna help too your dad can burn my some dad pot. can burn I can burn my mom pot. can cook too but All my right. dad I'm telling you my dad my dad loves to cook well good well look take some of his stuff that he cooks okay and find a cool looking vessel all right. all right, something to put it on, all right? Because, once again, here we go. First bite taken with right. your eyes. So what this is is just a little bit of cooked down chipotle peppers. All you right. like it spicy, don't you? Yes. Now, you see how I just did that with the back of the spoon? That's all you got to do. And the it's scallops are going to go on top of that. Well, sort of. Kind of. We're going to put the scallops down. This is a mirror. How this cool is, is that? This is a mirror. <laughs> Think outside the box. Yeah. This and when your guests come over, they'll be oohs and ahs. You guys got corn on your thing and you got it left over. I tossed it with a little bit of pico de gallo, sweet peppers and onions. Okay. And I made a roasted corn salsa. It's going right on top of that. All right. I finish off with a little bit of flour tortillas. Nice. Okay, remember our pasta dish? With the oyster D? Yeah, the oysters D right wow. there. Wow. Okay, goat cheese. Everything's yes. better with goat cheese oh, on it. Oh, man, you know look at I mean? that. That'll melt down, and all of a sudden, your sauce, be, your sauce, which was olive oil and white wine, a little bit of butter, becomes a little creamy. It just stepped up a notch. It's just kicked it up. <laughs> okay. Sweet potato hash. You, would you throw in that some um, Fresh spinach? Fresh spinach. Okay. I would put um, Swiss chard. If you had some leftover collards, you okay. know, you could take those. You Ooh, know that would be good, yes. Excellent. That would be really good. And then I'm taking some spices. So, do you, like, you just present that, and then people just eat off of that you they just serve off of that yeah you just okay. serve right off of that but see it's a different presentation so it's all of a sudden it's the same food you got for thanksgiving of course this isn't yeah but it's presented in a way that they're going to go dang yeah we're coming back different. here <laughs> now remember those scallion flowers you kind I, of, that i cut perfectly yes, yes you, i do that you cut perfectly Wes. that you're a true <laughs> instructor just one <laughs> what i did was i took a tomato and i basically just peeled it it looks all like right? a rose and it looks like a rose and look at that. Just like every rose, you have to have a bloom. Oh. Here's the thorn putting in the bloom. Look at you. You are just awesome. We rocked out three dishes in two of our cooking segments and plated it up and still had time to talk about what's going on at the restaurant. And, and duck. In Duck, North Carolina. You got it. All right, real quick, you're located... 
We're located in the heart of Duck, right across from the new town hall. Okay. That's where they're going to light the tree on December 2nd or 3rd, okay? Mm. So we've got a new town hall next to the Carolina Designs building. All right. And you Come can always us. visit them, redskycafe.com, or give them a call, 252-261-66, no, 86? 86. 86 46. All right. We're going to have all of this on our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. Uh, Chef West knocked out the park. Fist bump on that one, Later, my friend. Baby. All right. Cool.